Here we've got the Super B gas kill switch from Killer RC. And I'm going to show you real quick how to adjust the receiver battery low voltage cutoff and the glitch sensitivity using these two dip switches on the Super B. Now, out of the package, it's set up uh, for a 4 volt low, cut, uh, low voltage cutoff which would be good if you have a 6 volt uh, receiver battery which is what most people have but if you have a 2 cell life uh, you're going to want to bump that up to a 5 volt cutoff or if you have a 2 cell lipo you're going to want to bump that up to a 6 volt cutoff so uh, I'm going to show you real quick in this video how to do that now out of the package it's set for 4 volts cutoff and level 1 glitch sensitivity which is where you're going to want to leave it if you've got a 6 volt battery. So let me turn the power on and uh, on the receiver here and show you what the Super B does when you first turn it on. We got the optional uh, buzzer plugged in right here and you saw uh, four amber LED flashes and one green. That means 4 volt uh, cutoff and glitch sensitivity level 1. That's what most people are going to want to leave it at. If we wanted to bump it up to 5 volts, we would turn the power off. And within the first 5 seconds after turning the power back on, I'm going to uh, raise the number 1 dip switch um, down and back up. And that will uh, jump it up to uh, 5 volts. See... Now it's uh, got uh, five amber flashes and one green. Let me turn it off and back on, uh, and we'll just double check that. And that was five amber and one green. So if we wanted to bump it up to six volts, we'd just do it again. Now we're at 6 low volt cutoff and level 1 glitch sensitivity. <clears throat> now if we wanted to take it uh, all the way back to the factory uh, setting of 4 volts, uh, like what's explained in the, uh, the instruction sheet here, uh, see it starts out at 4, then we jump to 5, and then 6, then it's going to go back to 3, uh, which uh, most people won't want to use that unless you've got like a 4.8 volt. Uh, receiver battery like uh, some helicopters do so we're at six right now so we're going to jump to this one and then back to four so I'm going to uh, move the switch up and down two times Okay, we should be at 4 amber and 1 green. Let me turn it off and back on just to double check. There we go. Okay, so that's how you do the, uh, the low voltage cutoff. And you can see the, the LED here is solid green. That means the engine is ready to run. So uh, let's do this, the same thing with the, uh, the glitch sensitivity. Now, the glitch sensitivity is um, you're going to want to leave that at, at level 1 unless you're having some problems with the engine uh, being shut off like at long distances if your radio is getting a little bit glitchy but not really enough that you want to kill the engine you can um, raise this up to a higher level which makes the Super B less sensitive to glitches so level 1 is the most sensitive which is what most people will want to leave it at Level 2 would be a little less, 3 would be even more or less, and then 4 uh, would be the least sensitive. And then it would go back to level 1 again. So let me bump it up to glitch sensitivity level 2 for you. Saw the two green flashes, that's level 2. So let's go all the way back to level 1. So we're going to have to cycle this uh, up and down uh, three times to get all the way back to uh, the factory settings of uh, glitch sensitivity level one. Now 
and there we are back to factory settings and the engine's ready to run.